What's up guys? Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today I'll be creating, starting a new series and in this series we will be creating a simple snake game where you can go around and eat some food and you will grow longer. This is part one of the series and in this video we'll just be looking at how to make the movement of the character. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to call this project Snake Game. So first I'm going to delete this cat here and create a new sprite. And I'm going to call this player. And then I'm going I have a costume for my backpack. Two costumes. So this one is the head. It's just basically a red circle with two white circles and two black circles inside the white circles. So it looks like eyes and a face. And then this is just um, this costume, but with no eyes. So this will be the body, so I'll name that body. And this will be the head, so I'll name that head. So inside the code, I'm going to drag a when green flag clicked. And I'm going to go to looks and show and switch costume to head and set the size maybe to 70 okay that looks about good and set the color effect to random so negative 100 to 100 so now every time we click the green flag it's a random color and then finally we're going to make the player go to center so now the player is all set up. In the backdrops, I'm going to just make the backdrop black. So it'll be easier to see the colors. Okay, so now I'm going to drag a forever loop. And forever, forever, I'm going to move two steps and create cloud of myself. Then I'm going to go back to motion and drag a point towards mouse pointer. So then next, I'm going to go to variables and create a new variable. And I'm going to call this length. Make sure this is for all sprites and then click OK. So I'm going to set length to, um, let's say, 3. And then I'm going to go to control and drag a one I start as a clone. And it's just going to switch costume to the body, wait for one second, and I'm going to go to operators and drag it divided by. Then I'm going to drag the length variable in the left side and inside looks. I'm going to drag the size variable in the right side. So when I start the clone, switch costume to body, wait length divided by size seconds, and then I'm going to delete this clone. So as you can see, the um, the the player is facing the wrong direction. So I'm just going to go to costumes, select this, and flip horizontal. Okay. So now I'm going to go into the costumes and in the body um, costume, I'm going to move this. Um, a bit to the left. So now, well, actually, a bit to the right. So if I set the length to 3, so I'm going to make this um, a bit bigger. So I'm just increase the size a bit. Um, okay, 
So now, let's try it out. And as you can see, we like have a little tail behind us. And if we set the length to something bigger, like, um, let's try 10. We have a longer tail behind us. And as you can see, it follows us. And if we turn, it can follow us. But there's a prob there's this kind of glitchy thing. So when I hover over the snake, as you can see, it just glitches. So to fix this, I'm going to drag an if statement around the move two steps and check if not touching mouse pointer. So this way, if I hover my mouse over the head of the snake, it won't like glitch. So now that is what we want. Okay, so now we have the movement. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to make the food and how the player can grow. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.